Mayor Blossom and Principal Featherhead have asked me to show you this informational film about what to do in the event of an atomic bomb detonating in Riverdale. Now, we must be ready for a new danger, the atomic bomb. You'll know when it comes. There is a bright flash, brighter than the sun. If you are not ready, it could hurt you in different ways. It could knock you down hard or throw you against a tree or a wall. It is such a big explosion, it can smash in buildings and knock signboards over and break windows all over town. Jeepers. That atomic bomb movie really gave me the Zorros. <laughs> Should have. That dumb movie was telling us to duck and cover, as if flying glass is going to be the biggest of our worries. In truth, most of us wouldn't even likely survive an atomic explosion. What are you playing at, Jug? Have any of you seen the newsreels from Japan? If a bomb drops on or near Riverdale, all of us are vaporized in less than a nanosecond. Not to mention the radiation we would all be exposed to, even if we managed to survive the initial detonation. Well, I know what I'd do if a bomb were heading our way. I'd sequester myself in the Pembroke sub-sub basement. It's like a little underground city down there. You'd be invited, of course, Juggykins. Ugh. I would seek shelter in the abandoned Blossom Mines. They've stood strong since before the Revolutionary War. Isn't it dark and cold down in those mines? Hmm. Why, yes, Tony, it is. I would have to find some way to stay cozy and warm. I'd head back to Duck Creek. We've got a well so deep, no bomb or radiation could reach it. Well, why stop at Duck Creek? I mean, if we hear these sirens, I'm hopping in my hot rod, I'm grabbing my mom, and I'm heading out west. There's no way these radiation clouds are gonna cross the Rockies. <laughs> out west sounds nice. Sure does. You can't outrun an atomic bomb, Archie. No matter how screaming fast your hot rod is. Guys, I read somewhere that if you are inside of a refrigerator and the big one hits, you're safe. But then you're inside a refrigerator. Yeah, Kev, what would you do about food and water? I mean, I'd be inside of a refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not holding up anywhere. Come on, guys, we can't let this bomb get us down. In places like Nevada, where the US does most of its atomic testing, people have bomb shelters in case something goes wrong. That's what it would take to be truly safe. A lead-lined underground bunker. If Russia wanted to bomb us, wouldn't they target larger cities like Los Angeles or New York. People who live in the sticks like us, we don't actually have to worry about nuclear attacks, do we? Mm. I wouldn't bet the farm on it. An atomic bomb could drop anywhere, even here in Riverdale. <laughs>